go to classwork and open up the assignment, your teacher needs to have returned the assignment to you in order to see the comments. Tap on the Your Work arrow at the bottom to open the Your Work and then open the file. First, we're going to look at a Google Slides. From here, you're going to tap in the top right hand corner on the Shero icon to open this file in the Google Slides app. Once it opens in Google Slides, you should see over on the left-hand side, um, next to the slide icon, a comments box. You'll also see at the bottom if there are any comments on this page. So you can see four comments. I can also tap view at the bottom to view those comments. Comments will show one at a time. I can add a reply or check it as done. I can also click on the arrow to go to the next comment. Notice that on the slide, it will highlight to where that comment has been added. In this case, it's added to the word the. I can add a reply to my teacher. So my teacher will see it. To exit out of the comments, I can just tap on anywhere on the screen. And again, to come back, I can tap on the comment button in the top right corner to see them all at once, or I can tap on view at the bottom as well to go through them one by one. Now let's take a look at comments on a Google Doc. So I'm gonna open my Google Doc file. Again, I'm gonna tap in the top right-hand corner on the Shero icon to open in Google Docs. Here I see highlights on where my teacher has added comments I'm going to tap on the comment button in the top right hand corner and there I will see the comments. To go to an individual comment, I would simply tap and again, the screen looks the same as Google Slides where I can add a reply or mark it as completed. Again, you will only be able to see comments once the teacher has returned the assignment to you and it does take a few minutes for the comments to be active on the iPad. So if your teacher returns, your assignment and you don't immediately see comments, give it a few minutes and try loading those files again. Additionally, make sure that your Google Classroom, Google Docs, and Google Slides apps are all up to date.